hapa wapi makofi na vigele gele kwa Yesu jamani piga makofi haleluya haleluya Jehovah, you hide me lately. Much I fall to see food. Yes, you hide. You hide Jehovah. You hide Jehovah. You hide Jehovah. You hide me lately. Much I fall. Much I fall to see food. Father and our God, we thank you. As we go to hear your word, oh God, speak to our lives, speak to our hearts. Lord, I pray for your unction upon me, that Father, I will communicate, that I will be able to speak that which is in your mind. I pray, Father, that this word shall find a place in the heart of your children. 
every distraction by the enemy, any kind of wandering minds to oppose your children from hearing, I arrest it in the name of Jesus. I right? declare the blood of Jesus upon each and everyone that is gathered under this roof and my hearing that, Father, you are going to reveal yourself upon them even through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bwana Sifiwe. Bwana Sifiwe. This is the second service. And uh, as we continue, uh, we are going to actually look at several areas in the Bible which reveal to us the healing that God has released upon our lives. Bwana Sifiwe. We know that health is one very, very important factor that everybody wants to have good health. We know when sicknesses come, you know, everybody gets disturbed. Everybody gets disoriented. And God has his way out concerning our health. And as people who believe in him, as people who actually serve him, we have a cover beyond the NHIF cover. Bwana Sifiwe. Bwana Sifiwe. Because for one thing, there are sicknesses that are tormenting people and even medicine has not been able to help them because some has been demonically charged. Bwana Sifiwe. Bwana Sifiwe. And we know very well that when we have the knowledge about the healing of God that is in dispensation for us, then we will not fear. Neither shall we suffer at the hands of the enemy. I want us to read from uh, 3 John, 3 John verses 2 and 3, as uh, I begin. As I begin. 3 John. That John, verses 2 and 3. Okay. Let me open my Bible. It's not lit. That John, verses 2 says this. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, even as thou walkest in the truth. Bwana Sifiwe. Bwana Sifiwe. So, you know, this is a desire that God has for all of us. This was written by John, that he desires that even as we prosper, we, good, we be in good health. When you are not in good health, there are so many things that you are unable to do. There are many things that cause you to be stuck. And therefore, one of the very primary things that we cry for or we pursue is good health. Buana sifiwe. Buana sifiwe. So, this is in the word of God, and it is for us. It is for us. So, we need to know that there is help that has been released by God for us to make us be able to operate without any kind of oppression because of the infirmities that come through sickness. In the Bible, the entire Bible, as you read, you'll have many scriptures that are assuring us about the divine healing of God. And therefore we should not at any time when we feel like we are getting uh, unwell think that that is the will of God for us. Because some people will say, okay, it is the will of God that I be sick. It is not the will of God. God desires that we be in good health. God desires that we be in good health. It is when you are in good health that you can praise your maker. 
that you can serve your maker. That you can be able to actually do anything that you want to do that is pleasing unto him. Praise Jesus. And when we go to the book of Exodus, chapter number 23, verses 25 to 26, we find a precedence that God has set for us, which he declared upon the children of Israel as they were on their way to the promised land. He told them that as long as they serve him, then he was going to make sure that they enjoy good health by blessing their bread and their water. That is the food we eat and the water or the drinks that we, we take. That, when we partake of them, they should not cause harm to our lives, to our bodies, but that they should be of help to our bodies. Buana sifiwe. Buana sifiwe. I'm saying this knowing that there are many people who may not eat this or the other thing. That is not the will of God. That is not the will of God.